bad account. Um. Okay, well, damn, that's 20 people. Like, how you want, how, what, what kind of body count you want? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker. And we have a very interesting topic this morning. Let me get on so that I can see everyone's questions, concerns, comments. Good morning, everyone. All right. So, uh, the title of this video is Feeling Like a Desert in a Land Full of Waterfalls. Okay. I want to start off because I just want to read something to you. A lot of times when we're talking to our girlfriends, um, it's not uncommon that women talk about sex. And sometimes as you get older, you may say, well, you know, I'm having sex and I'm starting to dry up a little bit, you know, in the middle, you know, while we're doing it, I'm, I'm kind of drying up a little bit. And then she responds with something like, oh, girl, I don't have that problem. That kind of makes you feel a certain type of way. And trust me, she don't mean no harm at all. She don't mean no harm at all. But it's just a natural reaction. And it's not that she's trying to one-up you. It's just that her body may not be going through the changes that your body is going through. Okay? So, I was doing a little um, reading this morning because I actually had no intention on getting up, coming to the store, doing a video. But in the midst of me doing my reading this morning, I was like, you know what? I really need to address this issue because sometimes we have this mental complex about needing additional help for witness because in our mind, we feel like it should just naturally do what it's supposed to do. And then when it stops doing what it's supposed to do, then sometimes we become ashamed. And then sometimes we're dealing with men who like, oh, you must not be turned on because you're not getting wet. And that is not true at all. And that's why it's so important that we have to educate our partners. Oh, I'm sorry. It's very important that we have to educate our partners because they need to understand that our bodies go through a lot of changes throughout the month with just hormones in itself. Okay. But I wanted to read something because... Uh, I was just like, this, this is really helpful. Okay. So first of all, I'm reading this book, My Vulva and Me. Okay. I read a lot of self-help books, but a lot of self-help books, um, center around sexuality. That's my thing. That's what I like to read about. And it said that I began to think that I was the problem. I would find myself searching the unthinkable, rather than just going and asking my doctor or maybe my friends or my family, because this is the thing that I noticed, especially in our culture. Our mothers don't tell us about the changes that our bodies are going to go through. And when I have young ladies coming into the store and they see lubricant and I say lubricant is your friend and they be like, oh, I don't need all that. And you know what I tell them? Live, baby. Just live. See, all you got to do is live. And through living, you're going to experience all kind of changes throughout your life, especially with your body. Live. What others neglected to tell me was how my past sexual trauma could be causing a mental barrier for me. When you've been molested, when you've been raped, when you've been sexually assaulted, when you have all of these underlying issues going on, yes, it can be, uh, it, it can directly affect how wet you're getting. Because you got these mental blocks, it can directly affect how relaxed you are. For real. 
They neglected to tell me that birth control can destroy all the fun down there. Yes, birth control alters our hormone. Birth control have us down there not even wanting to have sex anyway. So if it have us not wanting to have sex anyway, how the hell can it have us wanting to get wet? Come on, somebody. They neglected to tell me that what I'm experiencing is normal. I could have threw the book and shouted. I could have threw the book and shouted on that part right there. Baby, what you're experiencing is normal. All you got to do is live. Just live. They don't make all of these products. Let me tell you something. I ain't in business for nothing. I Sexual health and wellness is a multi- Billion dollar industry with no advertisement. I ain't in business for nothing. They don't make all of these things for nothing. This is one of our best sellers. When women come in and they tell me, Sharonda, I get turned on. Like, I really want to have sex. But my body is not responding like I want to have sex. Baby, all you need is some Niagara. You don't even need kangaroo. Kangaroo is for people who are trying to get turned on and they want to experience vaginal wetness. They want to be turned on. They want to be turned on for days at a time. But if you don't have no problem with getting turned on, then baby, you don't need kangaroo. You, you don't need that pussy jumping all over the place because your pussy jump on its own. But the pussy jumping, but it ain't getting wet. Well, that's where the Niagara come in at. And luckily for you, it's $9.99 this week. For, and you see, it's, a, it's two pills in the pack. You only need one. All you need is a little Niagara, baby. Take you some Niagara. It's gonna make you wet. It's gonna get the juices to flowing. It's gonna become a river. I have so many women that say, I squirted for the first time on Niagara. Yes, because it relaxes everything down there to get the juices flowing. It's doing what it's supposed to do. But if you know me, you know that I am an advocate for lubricant. This one is my... Every day, go to, you can't stick your dick in me without it. I have to have wet elite silicone. Well, it's a hybrid, and it has a touch of silicone in it. I have to have this. I'm 40 years old. My body's going through changes. I ain't sweet 16 no more. I ain't just walking around with a puddle in between my legs like I used to when I was a young girl. I'm grown enough to admit that and own it. It ain't no desert, but guess what? A little lubricant ain't going to hurt because you can't tell my pussy up. You know why? Because it's the only pussy I was blessed with and I got to take care of it. And a part of me taking care of it is using lubricant. Wet Elite. This is my go-to. This is what's on my nightstand. This is what I reach for. This is what I dress the dick up with. I suck dick with the Wet Elite on the dick. Because guess what? When you put it on there, it ain't going nowhere. You got to get hot soap and water to wash this off. My people, I'm sensitive. Everything break me out. Mm -hmm. I can't even have a uh, scented washing powder. I got to use a certain kind of soap. Everything irritate me. Baby, get the organic line of wet. We, we got you covered. This is an aloe base. Ain't going to do nothing to you. This aloe base. This is not aloe base. But this one is. Well... I don't have necessarily no no allergies or, you know, sensitive, but I have a hard time relaxing. Get the Hemptations, baby. This one got CBD in it. It's going to relax that pussy. That way he can go ahead and get in there. So, what I'm saying is, I got you covered here at the PPG store. When you educated, hold on, because I want to go back to this. When you educate yourself, you help yourself. We help each other by educating each other. These are the conversations that we should be having with our daughters. Baby, as you get older, your body going to change. Lubricant is your friend. It's nothing wrong with telling your child lubricant is your friend. It's nothing wrong with telling your niece lubricant is your friend. When you talking to your girlfriend and she telling you she going through a dry spell, all you got to tell baby, lubricant's your friend. Lubricant's your friend. There's nothing wrong with telling them that. Let me touch on this. KY jelly is not 
to be used for sex. I don't care how much they advertise it. I don't care how much you see recommendations for it. If you ever go to the doctor, the doctor is going to use KY jelly because the examination is not a long examination at all. I promise you. They're going to take a little KY jelly, put it on whatever tools they're using or their fingers or whatever they're doing, do what they got to do, give you something to wipe yourself up with, and you're gone. KY jelly is meant for exams and stuff like that. That ain't for no long-term humping. It, it's not intended for that. That's why they use it at the doctor's office because they know what they got to do is real quick and they just need to wet it up a little bit to do what they got to do and give you a towel so you can dry it off. G give you a, a, a little Kleenex or whatever, paper towel, so you can dry it off. KY jelly is not my recommendation for lubricant at all. It does not last throughout the duration of sex, not unless you're having a one or two minute sex. If you're having one or two minute sex, go right on ahead with your KY jelly. But if you're having real sex that's lasting a period of time to the point where he can warm the body up, get the body going and get all the stuff going, KY jelly not going to work. Okay? So don't go to Walmart and get KY jelly because that's not a good quality lubricant. You want to get quality lubricant. These are products that you're using on your body for sex that's intended to last for a period of time. Don't use KY jelly. I just wanted to throw that out there. Okay. So, this basically said, I want to read it verbatim. I just wish the waterfall culture would stop making this topic so taboo for those of us who are suffering in silence. Waterfall culture. What that song is that K. Michelle sang? Lord, I love it every time I hear it. Uh, what's K. Michelle's song, y'all? What's K. Michelle's song? Hold on. Let me see. K. Michelle. Waterfall. Here we go. That's the name. It might be Waterfall. The Rain. That's the name of it. I just want to find the lyrics. Hold on. She say, tonight I'm feeling sexy. I can make you overdose. Make it overflow. Like a river, my waterfalls break down the levee. You're going to get soaked, so bring a raincoat. When I finish, you're going to see a rainbow. Oh, 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 oh. Come swim in my water like a sailboat. Come on, y'all. This woman is saying that she going to make the storm come. She going to make it overflow. Make me overflow. Can you stand the rain? Like, this is waterfall culture. Waterfall culture. And what happens is when, when you have women who are going through the change of life, they start to feel like something wrong with them because they not experiencing that anymore. Baby, you can still experience it. Come get you some Niagara. You, it, it applies to you too. If you don't naturally have a waterfall, baby, let me help you create one. If I, baby, let me tell you something. They always got something out there for everything. If you don't naturally get it, come come buy you some shit. And I'll help you. Okay? The PPG store will be open today from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Make sure you ask for the free orgasmics with the purchase of your Niagara today. All right? You all be blessed. You enjoy this beautiful Saturday. And come shop with us. And of course, y'all know it's the, the holiday season. So we got all kind of good stuff. And for those of y'all that are inboxing and DMing me, yes, we still have the holiday ones it's in stock. Only a few. Though. I think we may have like one in each size at this point, if we even have that. But we do still have the butt flap ones. Uh, we full of stock with those. We full of stock with the lace ones. And then we still have the traditional WAP and Gab WAP is still on sale for $19.99 with the free stock. So, again, come see us here at the PPG store. Let me see if I have any questions, concerns, or comments before I end. Ms. McCoy say yes. That's something that we did not talk about. Yes, yes, yes. 
Okay, yes, this is on my regular Facebook page. For whatever reason, Facebook has blocked me for one month for going live in my groups. All my pages are blocked. But I'm, I'm still able to post on this particular page. So, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just working through the kinks. That's all I can say. I'm working through the kinks. They said I was soliciting in 2012 when I was telling people how to go about finding a third person for their threesome. So they said I was soliciting. It is what it is. You know, I told them I'm educating, but, you know, Facebook doing its own thing right now. I want you all to be blessed. Enjoy your Saturday. It's the sex toy queen, Sharonda Parker. Today, we're going to be talking about the dry spell. Do you feel like a desert in the middle of a land full of waterfalls? Don't worry, honey. I have something that will help you. It's called Niagara. You no longer have to feel ashamed. Everyone around you is talking about, oh girl, you don't be getting wet? I don't have that problem. Baby, this thing be soaking wet. It be dripping, it be juicy. They making songs about it. Oh, it's an ocean, it's a waterfall. It's dripping, it's wet, it's this, it's that. But in the back of your mind, you like, why am I not experiencing it? It's a lot of reasons you could be experiencing dryness. It could be hormones. It could be birth control. It could be your body's just going through the change of life. But come to the PPG store, get you some Niagara. And baby, that thing is going to be juicy for you. Guess what? It's on sale right now for $9.99. And while you're at it, ask about the free orgasmics that you're going to get with your purchase. In store and online. Shop here at the PPG store www.dppgstore.com or visit us at our storefront 9789 Florida Boulevard, Baton Rouge, Louisiana 70815. We are here Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. No more dry spills. Come shop here at the PPG store, ask for Niagara, and you're going to get some free orgasms with your purchase.